Hey guys, um, for starters, I know I probably look strange without the beard, and uh, so I look different. That's to be expected, but I've been out here. I figured I would let y'all in on some few, on a few secrets, some issues I ran into um, changing over on my BMW N52 motor to the aluminum valve cover. And it's on there now, it ain't torqued down, but I just got it sitting there. I'm gonna tell you, a lot of the videos I've seen don't have all the computers over here on this left hand side, on the passenger side, and all the wiring that's going. So, so with that said, I actually had to uh, pull the motor mount loose in order to be able to, this aluminum valve cover, it does not flex whatsoever. So, a plastic one, you can flex it and get it around your AC lines. Uh, back here in the back as it'll hang on that you can see scarring on mine where it had caught several times I had to pull every bit of the cowl out all the way up to the uh, glass because Where the valley is in between the cams uh, Sits up high enough that you can't get it around the cams to even get it on the head um, So I pulled the passenger side motor mount loose lifted the motor up one-sided and was able to get the head up high enough to where I could just the valve cover would just drop down on it that being said then you got to let the motor back down and torque everything down but every single video before I ordered this I watched multiple videos on this and was like oh, okay it's not that big of a deal. I sat out here for hours when I did it originally. And trying to get it to drop right in, as everybody would say. And it wouldn't do it. Couldn't figure out why. That's when I got the idea to pull the uh, skid plate off the bottom and jack the block up. So... I did that and it fell right on. So after that, it went right on. Next thing, the gasket. I ended up having to glue the gasket to the valve cover because once you get it back there, the gasket where it just sits in, it fell out. And when it fell out, I torqued it down not knowing it fell out. And I sprayed oil all over the converters that are right there. I honestly thought I was going to catch my car on fire. But luckily I didn't. And I shut it off, pulled the battery cable, and parked it. Now, and now I have it glued in. So I'm going to torque it down and make sure it don't leak this time. And... Hopefully, nothing leaks, but, you know, it's possible it can happen. You know, I don't know what to expect. This has just been one headache right after another. So, for those who think, okay, I'm just going to switch to the aluminum valve cover and it's going to be easier. It is not easier. The plastic one does flex, and the valve cover gasket does tend to stay in it better, and it won't cut the valve cover gasket when you torque it down and this aluminum will then you're stuck at 10 o'clock at night rushing to AutoZone to buy a $54 valve cover gasket to put it on because you're in the middle of the repair um but like I said I'm gonna go through this process but I really did want to uh, explain some of these issues because nobody nowhere has mentioned one thing after watching every video on youtube everybody's like oh yeah this is super easy and it works really great but they're leaving out where they had to fight with it and so on um it is not the easiest valve cover today but it's not the hardest but there is more steps that have to be taken in order to be able to get this aluminum valve cover to go on so 
I just hope that my video here will help people and give them reasonable understanding that they're not just going to pull the valve cover loose and put it on because it's not that easy. Not to mention all the wiring and so on. I don't have to go into detail explaining how to do that because there's probably a thousand videos on YouTube that say, here, this is how you change the valve cover. But let me just leave out all this information. And that's what this video is for, just to fill in that gap. Um, I just, I don't know, I think it's really, really shitty the way all the videos are on, online. Because, unlike other people, at least I'm willing to uh, put my problems into the video so that everybody understands, hey, you know what, it's not that easy. I'm going to run into problems. This is what I can expect. But everybody on YouTube specifically is like, oh yeah, here it is. It's easy. Just plop it on and then hook everything up. Oh, look, it works great. They leave out every fucking bit of, hey, I had to fight with it for this long. They'll cut the video. They'll edit it and take all that out so that it makes them look like better mechanics. And they're not. A better mechanic would say, hey, look, this gave me problems. It's probably going to give you problems too. So that way you know ahead of time, hey, if this does happen, if my car, you know, like the valve cover hangs on my AC lines, then I know I need to jack my motor up, pull the motor mount and jack my motor up one-sided to get it up high enough to bypass that. Because I'm not unhooking and removing any of that. I'm leaving it all hooked up. This is just a quick in and out thing to stop the oil from leaking. Uh, I'm honestly, I feel like these cars are riddled with issues. I really want to, after this, I won't have a problem with my car. I really want to just sell it. That way I can get out from under it. And because I feel like every time something gets fixed, something else happens. I fixed the converters last time and it ran great. I went out here in the country and got into it and was running beside a, a, a C5 Corvette, you know, to see how I stacked up against it, which the car was ragged out and slow as shit. So it's not like he could walk off and leave me. And now, and then it, my valve cover started just blowing all everywhere. So when I did the repair, I was like, all right, let me get the aluminum valve cover because it should hold up better. The problem is it fits good. It looks good. But so far, it's been on the car for three months and I haven't had... It ha I haven't been able to drive the car because it keep everywhere that the valve cover gasket didn't seat good into the valve cover started blowing oil everywhere. So, you know, at some point you got to weigh your options between, you know, do you want functionality over form or form over functionality? And in this situation, if I'm going to have the car, I want to be able to drive this motherfucker. So, I would rather have functionality. I don't give two shits about how it looks. I can, that's why there's a cover over the engine. That being said, you know, do with it at what you wish. But, you know, some people are strange and they're like, oh, I just want it to look good. I'll make it a trailer queen. You know, I went to all these different car shows, like, these import alliances and the slammed enough events and stuff and there's a lot of BMWs there and they got these cars on trailers bringing them in because they don't drive them but what's I understand that but what's the point in having it if you're not going to drive it yeah you know, I want to be able to drive it and say hey look you know I got this clean ass car let me just whip it around or whatever and enjoy it but that's where I'm different. Maybe some people just, maybe that's all they want in life. It's just to have it looking pretty in a garage. That's why I stepped in and I'm like, hey, 
you know, everybody's trying to get a video on here saying, hey, look, I put the aluminum valve cover on and it works great. Watch my video. But like I said, they're not telling you, hey, it was a pain in my ass and I can't, you know, and I don't want you to think that I'm half the mechanic. In reality, they're not really a mechanic if they can't tell you, admit their faults or the problems that they have. So, that's why I made this little short video to kind of give people a better understanding so that nobody is going through the mistakes and fighting for hours. And Lord knows, I hope you glue that gasket in because, you know, like I said, it tends to fall out. And there's these little plastic caps that are inside the valve cover. Those plastic caps tend to fall out. Make sure they're locked in place. I don't know what the hell they do. Uh, but, you know, make sure they stay in place. The gasket's glued in. And then you torque everything. So, it says like 9 newton meters. So, I think that ended up being about 7 pounds by the torque wrench. Torque it down like you're supposed to. And it shouldn't leak. This is only the first half of the video and when I get done today and got it torqued down the last half of the video I'm going to say hey either it worked or it didn't. So maybe it'll help y'all maybe it won't. Some people will be like oh this you know he's full of shit or they'll say okay you know he made a good point. So I know what to look for. But until I get it done, time to take a break from the video. And I'm going to go back at it. And now that I got it sitting on there and all the boats in, I'm going to go back and torque everything down and put my car back together. And let's see what happens.